In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use ArcGIS field maps to gather data as part of Lab 2. In Lab 2, your job is to go out into the field somewhere. If you live off campus, I would recommend a place familiar to you near where you live. If you live on campus, I would suggest uh, one of the business districts nearby, or you could take a shuttle into town. Um, but you have about a month to gather this data, so my goal is to have you spread out uh, throughout the region and gather locations at multiple sites. If you have any questions about that, where you should gather data, where an appropriate place is, or making sure that you can do this uh, feasibly and safely, please don't hesitate to reach out. But what you're going to do is in ArcGIS Field Maps, we're going to be working with Map Lab 2. Now this one says Spring 23, that's because that's the one most recent, but yours probably will have a slightly different name. And once we tap on that map, let me just talk a little bit about the interface. You've seen it in Lab 1, but just so you're comfortable with what you're actually going to do in the field, uh, I will be demonstrating using a set of business points that I gathered in Kensington, Maryland, right here. Um, I live nearby, so I'm actually... the map will automatically center at your location wherever you are if your GPS is on. The th things you need to know about the interface are first there's an information button at the top it allows you to look at different aspects of your map. Uh, there's also a search feature which allows you to find things on your map and most importantly for us there is the uh, list of layers that are on. There's a markup layer on I'm not even sure why. Uh, it allows you to draw on the screen um, but more importantly, we're going to be adding data to biz points. And so there should be a check mark beside that, meaning it is the active layer, so that when you hit this plus sign to add a feature to your map, it's adding a feature to those biz points. Right now, there shouldn't be any features on the map. It's just a blank screen. But what you're going to do is walk up to the front door, or somewhere near the front door of a business, and hit that plus sign, and it will add a point location. Once you've created a point you can click the check mark at the top right that will save the point or if you did this in error you can hit the X at the top left and that will discard the point before you save it we're gonna add attribute information <clears throat> by sliding up and adding things to these fields uh, within the, uh, the app on your phone so the point of the lab is to look at different ways of classifying data. What we're going to do is add the name of the business that you're looking at. So let's say a pizza place. So I would say Sal's Pizza as the biz name, if that's the name. And then for category, I'm going to put food. For biz type, I would put restaurant. And for subtype, I might put takeout. Um, <clears throat> or Italian would be a better, <laughs> a better option. But for biz type, I could do, uh, instead of restaurant I could put takeout or a grocery store either depending on the type of food business. Now if you have any questions about categories remember that in the workflow for the data collection there is a link to a spreadsheet that will be very helpful for showing you the different categories that you can add and if you find a business that doesn't fit easily into those you can create your own. In addition to the information about the business is you're just going to say what lab section you're in. That's what that lab blank is for. So <clears throat> Wednesday morning, WAM, Friday morning, FAM, Friday afternoon, FPM, all caps, please, because that way it'll be consistent. If you have any other information you want to add, you can place it under notes, and you're going to put your name. I would put C. Kaler. I think that's going to be added automatically, so you don't really have to say that because it'll be part of your information, but does help it, it will help you find your points later on. So that's it. That's the, that's the process. Once you've uh, entered that information, you'll hit the check mark at the upper right. And when you do, you should see a point appear on your screen. There it is. And you'll see points for each business you insert. Of course, I'm going to delete this point now that I've created it. And again, you're going to go out into an area where there are multiple businesses and mark the points of about 30 of them. It'll probably take you half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour. That's what it took me when I did it in January. Um, so uh, if you have any questions about the process, do not hesitate to reach out. And this is going to be an important tool that we use for the remainder of the semester. So getting this done soon, getting it done correctly, will help you a lot.